when you created this forum, what was your MO? What were you trying to accomplish there? When I created the forum back in 2012, I was really looking for a community, for a place for people to talk about high risk trades in an unapologetic way for, for being able to make some uh, you know, short term money with some disposable income uh, and, and, and using Wall Street as a means to do that. The, the progression of Wall Street bets throughout the years has been nothing short of amazing, along with changes in the overall Wall Street, if we want to call it that, you know, with the advent of these new uh, low cost uh, brokers with low barriers to entry have a lot of people pouring into into Wall Street that that didn't used to participate before. Does this feel like a, an Occupy Wall Street kind of thing to you? You know, I said the tweet about that last night because it did kind of give me the feeling that they are taking a different approach to Occupy Wall Street. You know, instead of uh, trying to beat them, they've joined them and they've done it effectively. Previously, if you wanted to have a seat at the, at the biggest poker table in the world on Wall Street, you needed to work with uh, one of these large funds or one of these big names. And uh, if you wanted to just trade from home on your own, you'd just be a, not even a green in the sand. But what we're seeing now is this collective mass where they're, they're organized in a way that they, uh, that they have forced their way into, into this poker table. And they are effectively uh, outplaying some of these big players, which is just fascinating to watch. There is, there is certainly an element of uh, satisfaction in the way that, that uh, people are taking control of uh, what they want to do, and they're doing it in a way that's fun. What you're seeing right now is just, obviously, it's easier to see these headlines of people making you know, a few thousand dollars into several million dollars, uh, but it's obviously risky. To that same extent, I give more credit where credit is due. I, I, I think people know what they're doing. When you're going into a, a, it's not even fair to call it an investment. It's called a bet. Uh, you know, they're, they're using stock options that expire in a few days. Uh, there's no way you can justify that as any kind of a long-term strategy. So the anyone that's coming into this is, I, I believe they know that they're buying scratch-off lottery tickets. It just turns out that a lot of people are winning.